guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I am doing story time. Right, you want to be in my video? Yeah. Um, so this story time is about the time that I got, you know, the car ran me over. So, yeah, that, this actually happened, um, I'm, this isn't clickbait or anything, this actually happened. Yeah, yeah. sorry, my brother is right there. This was in 2016 of March, and my mom was currently pregnant with my brother, so this was about two years ago. You're going to fall off. No. Yeah, you are. Then you just almost... So this was March of 2016, and I was currently, me and my mom were currently living in an apartment with her ex-boyfriend, and he wasn't her ex-boyfriend then, but she, he is now. Apartment with my mom's um, boyfriend, who was then now, but now is her ex-boyfriend. And I remember he... There were like two sets of apartment buildings. One had a bigger parking lot and one had a smaller parking lot. We lived on the side with the smaller parking lot, but a bunch of my friends lived on the other side with the bigger parking lot. So I went over there a lot and played with them. And I remember I was playing with these two boys, two boys named Haven and Io. And they were about a year or two or three, I don't even remember, younger than me at that time. Yeah, play with it. And so, we, we we were playing red light green light well, they were playing red light green light with their bikes and i was in the middle Riker, stop me haven and io they were playing red light green light with their with their bikes and i was in the middle of the driving area kind of like the entrance where the cars go and i was in between them i was right here haven io on their bikes and I was writing my journal because I distinctly remember that it was the day that I had taken the star for the very first time. And I was writing around it in this journal that I had. And I threw away, I think like a year, yeah, I threw away this year. And so when I, the person who ran me over, first of all, was Io's mom. And she ran me over. I was in the middle of the driveway, so that is on me. But the thing, the, the sign literally says check before you ride because kids can be there. And she looked me in the eye and then ran me over. And when I got ran over, I remember she had kept driving and she went her, put her car in park because she hadn't realized that she had ran me over. But when she got out, she heard me like screaming to death because I just remember the car going into my face. And I remember it was a baby blue car and it was a Ford I don't know what kind of car it was though. I just know it was a Ford. I don't know the brand. I know the brand, but I don't know the type of car. But um, she, yeah. And then her boyfriend at the time, who was her not her boyfriend now, he wore leather jackets, and I just remember my leg was just like bleeding, and you could see it through my black leggings that I was wearing, which for soon you'll find out what happened to those. Um, and so when he had put pressure on my leg that way it didn't bleed out uh or not bleed out just like not bleed a lot um the person who ran me over she called 911 and i remember police came and an ambulance came and the police who had came he was the chief of the whole police department in the town that i lived in because now i live in a different town so he had came here he's not the sheriff now but his name was Chief Montoya. I think this was. I think it was Montoya. And when he got there, he was this checking my leg and stuff. And they were just telling me, you know, like stay calm. I was crying my eyeballs out. And they were just kind of making. They made me laugh and stuff like that until the ambulance 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 came here. And when they came here, they had just check in 
they checked my leg and my reflexes to see if anything was broken. It, it wasn't broken, it was sprained. And so they got me in the ambulance and they asked me a couple questions. And the person who was who ran me over when they were going to put me into the ambulance, they were putting, about to put me into the ambulance because I was on a stretcher. The lady who had ran me over, she was like trying to touch me and all this stuff, like saying, are you sorry? I'm, I mean, are you okay? I'm sorry. And the, the Chief Montoya, the sheriff of the police department around then, he was saying, do not get near her, do not touch her, or I'll have to arrest you, and stuff like that. And eventually he did arrest her, and she was in jail for I think about a week or so. And so when we were going off, my mom rode with me in the ambulance, and her boyfriend at that time drove there. And my mom was about a month pregnant. Yeah, my mom was a month pregnant. And so when we were in the ambulance, the, the chief was in there too because his deputy officer who was helping him um, drove the lady to the sher the jail, the county jail. And it eventually he they came out with me. And when I got to the hospital and they were carrying me out on the stretcher, the EMT said, good thing you didn't come here on a Friday because we dropped the people on Friday off from the stretchers because they were just trying to like make me laugh and not cry as much. And I, was, I got so scared and they told me that they were kidding. And when we got into the hospital, I went into the first room that we saw there and they booked me. And then when we got there, we had to wait a couple minutes for uh, the x-rays and the CAT scans and all that stuff to for the people to come in and check that. And they had to cut my leggings, which I, those are my favorite leggings that I had forever. And they cut them because they were sparkly leggings and I absolutely love them. They were the itchiest leggings in the world, but I love them. And so when we got there, the Chief, Chief Montoya had completely disappeared. I didn't even know where he went. And next time I saw him, he actually brought me Starbucks. He had bought me Starbucks from the hospital, which it is the actual Starbucks brand that he got me. And he got me a little Frappuccino. And that was actually my first ever Frappuccino. And um, when I, when we got there, my leg was prompt up like this. It was this leg up. My leg was prompt up like this and it was just like shaking. Like I couldn't, I could barely even move my chest. It wasn't, it wasn't that I couldn't like physically do it. It was just because I was just like so much shaking that I couldn't move my toes, but I can still move my toes and everything. My legs are fine. But um, when when they had to do a cat scan, when they were gonna cat scan it, they told me to go frog. And I didn't even know what that meant. And that's where you bend your leg like this, that way they can get them really clearer because it was on this side of my leg so when they'd asked that it, it hurt so bad when i had to move my leg but, so when they had to do that i saw my leg for the first time because i didn't even look at my leg at all and so when i saw it i was just i couldn't like it healed me so bad i remember my mom just standing there holding my hand because she knew i did not break it because she know that um, I would be screaming so much and it would have bruised instantly and it would have bled a lot more if I had broken it. So she was just kind of, she was calm and she wasn't like screaming and freaking out and not knowing what happened because she is uh she used to be an X ray tech but now she works in mammography. But um she I remember her just standing there and I was so scared and I didn't know what to do. I I just like this was I think my second time at the ambulance and that would be a next story but um we were at the and we were in there and she just told me she was like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and she was like just don't freak out don't do anything like that you'll be fine freaking out will only make it worse and so I calmed down and they had cat scanned it and all that stuff and I think about an hour later 
they had told us like we're good to go and stuff like that. And when we got home, we had to go buy a wrap for my leg and I couldn't walk on it for a while. I missed, I missed a week of school because of this. And I, I had to limp around school. And I remember just people asking me what the heck happened and all that. And it was hard to do anything in life at that point. And I had to sleep a certain way. I had to take showers a certain way. And it wasn't broken or fractured, it was just sprained. And they were surprised that I didn't sprain it because at that time I- Sissy, Sissy, Sissy. Okay, so at that time I had drank a lot of milk, like I had this obsession with milk. Do you like milk? You do? Here, you can sit right here. At this time I had like this big obsession with milk and I drank it all the time. I drink it all the time and I always loved milk so my bones are very strong. Now I hate milk. <laughs> <laughs> so um that they were surprised that I didn't break it or anything. And when the, basically af life after that, what are you doing? What are you doing? Basically, life after that was very hard. But soon this little guy came around eight months later okay. and he made my life better. Say hi. Hi. And, um, here, be in the camera. And, um, yeah. I never really got crutches, I only wrapped it. But I will show you all the scars. Uh, <laughs> Is it not working? Okay, so, hold on right here. Oh, here it is. So, here's one scar right here. You want little tushies? You want them to see your feet? Okay. And then there's one kind of like right here, but you can't very really see it very well. Um, oh, right here. And then here's this scar under the light. I'll charge you. I'll charge you. Here's the scar under the light, but it is very, very vague because they kind of minimalized. Riker, stop! Because they kind of minimalized as, or whatever the word is, as I got older. Because this was three years ago. So, yeah. I hope that you enjoyed. What are you doing? You probably can't even see it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Anyways, so that is the time that I got ran over by a car. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this. This wasn't any planned out story stuff, but um, I wasn't trying to make it dramatic, like make a movie dramatic. Basically, what happened? That's basically what happened the day that I got ran over by a car. Um, if, what are you doing? Are you pooping? No. If, excuse me, if y'all get to this, any views, like if, it, if this even reaches 100, I will do the time that I fractured my eye bone or broke it. And you don't need that. So, um, I hope that y'all like this. If y'all did, give it a thumbs. Did you just run into my bed? Uh, But yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this and um, subscribe if you want to hear any more stories because I've got a ton of them. I've been to the hospital twice. I got a lot of life stories. Um, yeah, so I hope that y'all like this. Comment down below some things that you stop. Don't move my tripod now. Um, comment down below some things that y'all would like me to do on this channel. Cause I will do them. And yeah. So that was all. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And all my socials will be down in the description. Every single one of them. Even my fan accounts that I have. And yeah. 
So I hope that y'all like the video. That's about all. So bye.